Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull around to here. And we're going to start recording a route. And we're going to call this um, 57, field 57 load. Or F57 load. Okay. Now we're going to drive to our grain mill. We're going to drive past it a little ways. All right, there should be good. And we're going to name this one. Um, Flower mill un unload, unload. All right, and then we're going to uh, yeah, we can we can hook it into this route here. Except I probably shouldn't have started turning so quickly. So let's um. Let's stop the recording, and I want to delete that, and that, and that, and probably even that one. Okay, now we'll just link this into here with a nice curve. All right, good. And then it's going to follow <clears throat> this route back down the highway here and it looks to me like we need to link this in here okay and then it'll come around this way go down the road the combine full already goodness gracious and then when it gets over to about here let's start recording And we want to make sure that those guys are connected. Stop the recording and link those two up. Okay, fantastic. Um, now, before we actually activate this, though, I want to I want to put about uh, let's just put another twenty thousand in the in the uh, silo. Again, if, if we can always pull more out and add it to the grain mill later if it proves to be more than we need, and I think it probably will be. But we'll just do it anyway. Let's turn all of these nodes off for now. Whoa! <laughs> Got some air time there.
Okay, so we want to stop the tip at approximately 14,000 liters. Doesn't have to be exactly at 14,000, but close enough. All right, that's close enough. All right, so that should put in our silo. Um, oh, you know what? I don't think the silo shows up here. Looks like we're out of room. Yeah, we're out of room there. Okay, so let's deactivate that for now. Yeah, so I don't think the silo doesn't show up here, but it does show up here. So if we go down to barley, um, we can see that we have 41,718 liters stored. Nice. Okay. Now, we're going to drop off this partial load at the flour mill now, and then we'll kick in auto drive. Okay, so if we go to combine uh, combine mode, which is that, and we want to set field 57 load and flour mill unload and activate. And then what we have to do now is go to the harvester and also set that on field 57 load. So let's go back to the harvester. There it is right there. And uh, turn on auto drive and set this to field 57 load. And now, uh, do we have to set, turn on course plate too? I th think so. So now it should be, in theory, it should be automated. So let's just see what happens here with this guy. What I'm expecting to happen is he'll get to the waypoint and then he'll realize that the combine is full and he'll go out and get loaded up. Okay, so it should switch over to course play here in a second. Oh. Uh, I guess he doesn't switch to course play, but it looks like it's working, though. Also, I think if you keep the pipe out, I think that the trailer will stay with you. Even if you're, you know, like... Well, I'm not... I guess I'm not really sure. Oh, he's... Okay, he's not moving. Huh, okay. I thought I had to set that to stop, but I guess he is set to stop. At least when it's, you know, completely automated like this. And I'm hands-free, by the way. So it's just really cool. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so... I'm guessing the trailer just stays put until the combine has enough grain to completely fill him up. Let's just sit here and watch and see if that's indeed what happens. Yeah, he just turned the engine off, so he's just going to wait until the combine uh, gives him another call, which probably won't be until the combine fills up again, I'm guessing. Okay, so the combine actually called the trailer even before it's completely full. It called it at about 60%. And I think that's an adjustment in in the uh, in the course that you can set. Combine self unloads, but yeah. Oh, there's the stop while unloading thing right there. Okay, here, let's turn that on. Hope that doesn't screw anything up <laughs> doing it right in the middle of the, the thing. Um, actually, you know what? Let's look at that again. Where show course, raise tools, combine self unload. 
Automatic repair, expert mode, prefer custom fields. Yeah, no, I, it's probably in the, the course itself. Okay, let's hop out and take a look at you. Yeah, you're 52% full. Okay, why are you backing up? Oh, because the combine probably completely emptied out again, I'll bet. Let's look. Well, no, it's 29% full. Hmm. Yeah, not sure. Okay. Let's just see what happens here. Yeah, as far as the corners that it's missing, I either set it to sharp corners um, or I just do, you know, an X, a field X before I start it. It probably would be fine with sharp corners except for maybe the very first pass on the headland but that's also gonna you know take more time though too I want to see if it calls the trailer again at 60% 57 58 59 60 yeah it does it at 60% I'm gonna have to look at the setting on that Next time we do this, you know, I'll just probably start it fully automated right from the get-go. Okay, so does that mean the truck is now full? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, let, let's watch the truck, and it should take the load and drive it to the flour mill and unload it. Not sure why it thinks it needs to be backing up right now. It's probably doing calculations or something. Oh, I wonder if it's ignoring the max. No, it isn't. Okay. I thought about turning that thing off, but I guess if you if you ignore it, then the vehicles get really unstable with it super heavy loads which makes sense but it does kind of suck that we're only using 67 percent of the volume capacity of this trailer interesting so he's not or she She's not using the route that I set up. She's using the closest possible way to get there based upon the existing routes, which is very interesting. I wonder if she's going to turn down this road here. Nope, she's going to go all the way out to the highway. Okay. Fair enough. But if she, okay, is it gonna drive all the way around though? That is not as efficient as the route I set up. Let's turn this on. It's probably yeah. Okay, so it's gonna turn in here. Oh, for goodness sakes, really? Yeah, I don't know why it chose this route, because this is way longer than the one I set up.
think you can kind of create a bit of a mess <laughs> with auto drive. And uh, I wonder if there's a way that you can delete everything all in one shot and then, you know, kind of start over. Not really sure. What in the world are you doing? This makes no sense. <laughs> I'm confused. What in the heck, man? I don't know. I don't know why I decided to do that. Hopefully it'll get to where it needs to go now. It could just be that I got too many tracks and it's it's confused. And now it's going the right way. Lord only knows why I didn't do this in the first place. That's what I was expecting it to do. Okay, good. So you finally got there. Okay, we're going to go into our flour mill. And we're going to get started making flour with barley. Activate. And everything else should already be set up. Okay, um, let's see here. So I'm going to go back to the combine. And um, probably what's going to happen is that guy's going to come back around to get to offload again. But I'm not going to wait for that. I'm going to instead uh, finish this up. So let's um, let's turn that off and this off, I guess. And we'll get the rest of the stuff that was missed. All right, that is it for the harvesting. Let's off load the rest of this into the trailer. Oh, why is he moving? What are you doing? Yeah, hold still. <laughs> I don't know why he's moving. Okay. Yeah. What you gonna do? Did we break him? Nope, there's still a worker in there. Okay, let's just leave him alone. 
for a moment and see if he figures it out uh, while we head back. The thing is, though, is he's not full yet, so... Probably isn't going to work. Because he probably would have moved by now. But what I think we can do is just set his waypoint, or her waypoint, uh, to, you know, the second waypoint and just send him on his way. Um, okay, so yeah, let's go here. Let's turn this off. And... Yeah, actually, I think we probably better just change this to deliver. Otherwise, it might do some weird stuff. So we want to get him on this track here. And then we're going to go to just deliver. Flour mill unload. And he should take it to the flour mill, and then I don't know what he'll do after that. Maybe come back. Well, he'll probably just stay there because he doesn't have another waypoint after that. But at least he'll deliver it for us. Now, you can also set up a parking area for the machines, too. Um, and that's something we m I might do at some point, but I just haven't done that yet. So I think you can tell him to deliver and then go park is the idea there. Let's get this turned off. In fact, we can close both of these now. Well, that was fun. Our first uh, run on our big barley field with our big combine. It was big fun. I love it. We'll get her cleaned up, fully repaired. Uh, it's got plenty of fuel, so I don't think I'll worry about the fuel so much. Has reached the flour mill. Okay. Yee-hoo. Okay. Let's... Is this... We came through here, didn't we? I think so. Ugh. <laughs> I wonder if I can remove that... Can I remove that thing? That rail thing, it's not doing any good whatsoever. Oh, I can. Yeah, let's just get rid of it. I mean, it's like a little footpath, I suppose, so you don't get your feet muddy, but who cares about that? we got to figure out where we're going to store this thing, too, man. Uh, I think I think we might need to be thinking about getting a, a larger shed. Uh, it's not, I'm not going to do that t today, but... We really, we really need to think about that because you know we've got we got the big combine which we can't put back in the barn. We got this huge header. We got two forage trailers that are just kind of sitting out in the open. You know, so our we keep expanding our operation, and we're going to need some a better storage solution. So I, I'm going to have to give that some thought as to exactly how I want to do that. Terra track. Nice. Okay, we're all clean. I think so. Let's uh, do whatever repairs we need to do. So 1488 to repair the combine and 62 to repair the header. Now whether you're in tip. Oh shit! I mean, shoot! What just happened? Did it? Oh, I. <laughs> I accidentally picked up the combine. <laughs> that scared me, man. Oh, man. Okay. I was trying to pick up the toolbox, and I picked up the combine. So, yeah. Um, For now, uh, I'm going to just... Boy, what in the heck am I going to do with this thing? I could probably put the header along here. Yeah, we'll just put the header along here for now, just temporarily. I 
And then this guy. Um, oh, actually, look at that. I don't... I don't remember what I had parked in here, but we're going to park this in here now. Well, there you go. All right. Thank you, Kanban, for your service. You were wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. Okay, guys, don't look. You didn't see anything. <laughs> okay, um, uh, let's go back to our buddy that dropped off the rest of the grain. And you did indeed drop it off. Okay, so where does that put us? Uh, we have a total of 56,167 liters in the flour mill. And it's not, uh, it's only about a quarter full. That's why I want to, we need to expand our grain operations. We need to keep buying big fields and do more and more. And it'll happen. Uh, well, at least I'm hoping it'll happen. Uh, all right, so excuse me, guys. Before I let you go, um, I want to get the baling started. We'll do that. Uh, we'll get the start of it on camera anyway. And then I'll probably just finish the rest of it off camera. And then, then we got to do uh, our hay cutting, which uh, we'll start in the next episode. We're going to change things up a little bit for that and hopefully make it a little more efficient. Primarily in that, um, I'm going to... Oh, you know what? Actually, we need to repair the man truck. I'm going to go to that, you know, headland spiral configuration thing because it just seems to work so much better. Repair both of those. And then hopefully my little trick for fixing the... when the fermentation silos fill up with auto drive will work too. Um, okay, so you just can go right back into the barn here. And I think I'll even just leave the man attached for now, too. Okay, we want to get to the uh, vent. And we want to grab our baler. Too far over again, man. And let's grab the V-rake. Oh, that roller got kicked over somehow. Not sure how that happened. Okay, let's make sure the baler's set on, whoops, on 240 centimeter, which it is. And we'll go drive into position, and then I'm just going to essentially assign this to the same course as the combine. And um, in theory, it should work. We'll find out, though, in a moment. Okay, so. I'm going to start you right here. Open course play. We're going to change. Um, we're going to remove that course and we're going to load field 57 class combine. Load course, activate. And I think that's all we need to do, right? So, hop to it. See what happens.
Uh, you know what? It's not going to get the headland because... Because I... Sh well, no, wait a minute. Why isn't it getting the headland? Oh, because I have it on nearest waypoint. Okay, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. We need this set to first waypoint. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Now I, I wanna I wanna watch it on this corner in particular to make sure it doesn't get hung up. I'm not really too worried about any of the other corners, but this one it could possibly get hung up on. Nope, seems to be good. As usual, I'll have to come back by later and get the the stuff that it misses, but it seems to be working all right. Okay, so since this is not an actual bale pickup trailer, um, I've got to figure out exactly how this is going to work. I mean, the simplest thing to do is for me just to drive it around, and I might end up doing that anyway, but what we could maybe do is have it Follow, use follow me on the baler all right so first thing I want to do is make sure it's set to auto pickup and it is not so what, what we want to do is back up to here and then Have to go into here and look at the settings for universal auto. Okay, automatic bail collection is control left shift R. Okay, now is it going to pick it up? Hmm, that doesn't seem to be working anymore. It used to work. It shouldn't matter what side it's on. What if I do control left shift R while I'm next to it and then will it pick the next one up? So if I can't get that auto thing to pick up then there's then I can't do this automatically. I mean I can't have it follow and pick up, right? It's not gonna work. Hmm. Okay, I wonder if something changed on the update, because that used to work. It really did. Uh, let's see what would happen if we tried to do some kind of a course. So let's go to... Oh, it's not even registering. It's not even registering course play. At, at, you know, the ability for me to create a course. What if I tried to load one? Load course, activate. Okay, that appeared to work. Okay, so it's on there. It's just that it doesn't really know what I want it to do. And it's not giving me the option to start it. Okay, well, I'm, I'm guessing then that Unless we use an, a bona fide bale pickup trailer, which works great, um, we'll have to do this manually. So the trade-off is if I went and bought the square bale pickup trailer, which I could do, it's like 90 grand, it'll work, but it only holds 14 bales per load. Whereas if I just go around and do this manually, I can put 33 of these bales on. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Unless I could, if I could just get that auto pickup thing to work, I could have it use follow me and follow the baler around. 
but it doesn't seem to be working. Unless, I wonder if it's a situation where it only works if I'm not in the vehicle. You'd think it would anyway, but maybe that, maybe that's the deal. So let's try this. Let's pick the bales up that are currently here. And then we're going to have it follow the baler and just see what happens. That is, um, let me look at that again. Control left shift R. Doesn't say if it's right or left control. It just specifically says left shift, which is what I was pressing. Hmm. What if we do con right control? I don't think that's going to matter, but let's just try it anyway. No, I didn't pick it up. The other thing, too, is I wish there was a way I could tell if it was on auto pickup, but it doesn't tell me that in the menu there. All right, well, let's get caught up. Even though I have to do this, it's still way faster because I can pick up 33 bills and I can pick them up and unload them much faster than using the actual bale pickup trailer. So it would really only be worth it to use that if I had to go and do something else, which there are other things I need to do, like get started with the hay cutting, but I don't know. I'll figure all this stuff out eventually, what the most efficient way to do everything is. The thing is, is, you know, as the farm gets, and I've mentioned this before, as the farm gets larger and larger, it becomes more and more important that we automate these tasks because you're really simulating, you know, farmhands helping you. One person can only do so much work, right? So it's very realistic from that standpoint. You just have to figure out the best way to do it. I would imagine, you know, people on console that don't have access to all these mods, you know, when they get to the point where they have an enormous farm that it's like really hard to keep up with, I would guess. That baler is just going for it, man. By the time we get caught up to him, we're going to already be full. Just about. Okay, so let's pick this one up. And then let's offload and reload so everything's nice and straight. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to do follow me. And we're going to... There we go. We want him to offset. Yeah, but see, it's not picking up the bales. That's too bad. It was it was definitely working before the update because I, I did it on my field. I pressed control left shift R one more time just to see. Nope, it's not working. Okay. Well, then uh, I guess that means I'm just going to have to do this myself, which isn't a big deal, like I said, but it would have been nice if we could have automated it. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to finish um, the straw here. And, you know, by the look of things, we're probably going to get around two truckloads of straw, maybe a little less than that. And then uh, in the next episode, we will do our second hay cutting and we'll change things up a little bit and see if we can get it to work a little more smoothly than last time. And then, of course, we also need to 
prep this field for the next planting, uh, which we have to decide what that's going to be too. Um, we might do barley again, or we might switch to something else. I don't think the game really has true crop rotation, but obviously in re in the real world you don't you do you don't want to keep planting the same crop over and over again uh, without rotating them. So we'll somewhat simulate that probably. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we're going to keep this as a grain field regardless. So whether we do, you know, wheat or oats or whatever, uh, we'll figure that out later. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.